pink penis statues may be coming to Fort Lauderdale, Wilton Manors, and others. Can you envision a 300-pound statue of a six-foot-high pink penis on display in a public park at Fort Lauderdale's famed corner at Las Solas and A1A? Chas Stevens can. The rabble-rousing atheist from Boca Raton, a First Amendment activist with a long resume of poking fun at government officials who dare to ignore the separation of church and state, is at it again. Stevens, the same man who made headlines a decade ago after winning permission to put up a beer can theme festivus poll at the state capitol, is now seeking permission from Fort Lauderdale and eight other cities to erect a six-foot high custom-made penis statue at various local town squares. So far, Stevens says he's gotten a no from Deerfield Beach and possible, possibly maybe from Fort Lauderdale. Stevens is still waiting to hear from seven other cities, including Miami Beach, Wilton Manor, Hallandale Beach, Deerfield Beach, Margate, Boca Raton, Delray Beach, and Baltimore. Stevens hoped to display his phallic statue on April 2nd at Fort Lauderdale's Las Olas Ocean Park, where the city re recently showcased a Christmas tree and menorah display. I'm like, I, I'm, <laughs> I am, uh, I can't wait to, <laughs> go ahead. No, I, 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 I hope he gets permission, but I, I hope he's in good taste. I, I, you know, it's just. I doubt it's going to be in good taste, right. Papi. It's right, a six-foot-tall yeah, yeah. penis. Well, but I mean, it's penis like, is good taste. A pink, a pink, huge one. A penis is good taste. I don't know. No, no, no. Definitely not for me. Definitely not for me. I say yeah. a penis is good taste. It's good taste. It for tastes. I. You know what got me from the pens? If have you had. Garlic, have you had Oh, asparagus? God, okay, 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 okay. No, listen. Okay, so so he got he got a no, right? But he got a maybe from Fort Lauderdale. That's so I can just shocking. imagine that phone call. Hey, Dean Trantellis, I want to put a big-ass <laughs> penis on this street and this street. And then Dean goes, We're not maybe. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's funny you say that. because And we don't tell this in the story because we're waiting and watching Fort Lauderdale. Dean's a no so far. Dean has come out. Dean Trantellis, the mayor, gay mayor mm -hmm. of Fort Lauderdale, has said, basically, I'm paraphrasing, I'm paraphrasing. These are not Dean Trantellis' words. But really, basically, <laughs> you know, in a generally family-friendly community, it's not something that we right. want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, funny, maybe, but it's not what we want to do. So if there's a leading no against this, it's the gay mayor of Fort Lauderdale. Right. Okay. I, uh, I have okay. a question about yeah. this guy. Is he gay? I don't know. I don't think so. And, it, you know, the other thing is, if they're done, then people will just say, gay people are all about sex because they'll yeah. assume <laughs> the, that we the did gay it. community did it. And mm -hmm. I, I, I agree with Dean. Dear I think Phil, it doesn't Phil belong. Just doesn't no. belong. Well, no. no, the answer is no. And, and uh, again, it's uh, the family destinational yeah. banner that Got they're it. carrying on why they did the no. The interesting thing in this is, of course, uh, this is uh, this is red meat to the viewers of Queer News tonight. Um, I'm curious to see what Wilt Manners is going. Yeah, that's me too. That would be and uh, mm. and, and and Wilt Manners has been suspiciously silent on this subject. Scott hasn't said anything. I, I, I not publicly. We can't find any record of him saying anything. Okay. I'm sure the crack investigative team at South Florida Let me text him right is now. Just, just <laughs> at the bottom of this. It's, it's I a, wonder but it, what. It, uh, hold on one sec. Do. It's an, oh, well. Uh, we Remove the mayor is. from office? He, he, um, it's an interesting story from the standpoint of he platforms this as a uh, freedom of speech issue. Mm -hmm. Because what he is using is this six foot, uh, I've seen the picture uh, of the, uh, uh, or maybe it is, I've actually seen the penis maybe. <laughs> um, uh, but he uses it as an argument to say, look, if we're going to embrace any kind of religious yep. uh, activity in a municipality like a Christmas tree or a menorah, a nativity, a, a nativity yeah. scene, then everything should be expressed. So what he's saying is we should either allow it or we shouldn't allow it. Now, whether you agree with that argument or not, that's what the pink mm -hmm. penis represents. Wait, let me create an, uh, an image 
that says this is free speech. Yeah. Well, wait, why is this different than the menorah or the Christmas tree? It's an interesting argument. Yeah. And for that reason, he might win. Yeah. Okay. Remember he during remember win. during Trump times that they had a half naked Trump statue in Wynwood mm -hmm. on top of one of the buildings, and it was an artist who put it there, and a freedom of speech allowed it to be there. Actually, all and, right. And and uh, one of the things that we don't uh, report on here is there is much conversation that this will end up in the courts yeah. uh, because they'll uh, he will want the court to say, well, wait, uh, uh, is freedom of speech for everyone or for only those that are Jewish or Christian or whatever? There was a lot of conversation about Robert Maplethorpe yeah. as well back yeah. in the day. I can see you kneeling in front of that big penis. Do yeah, you know? we all... Ay, we Dios mio, it, it, it's going to be Mecca for a while. What, what, what if we put like a condom on it? Like what if we yeah, develop like a exactly six-foot right. condom to put on it, yeah. then we're not seeing well, it? Well, protection is first, folks. I told, I, Exactly. I told you, yeah. this is red meat for queer news tonight. Yeah. <laughs> So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did, so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.